Hi, I'm Dylan from Celine Americas and we are in Roche Harbor and we're looking at the anchor pockets on our Celine 92. If you've seen most of our boats are available with anchor pockets or without, and we thought we'd have a little chat about the difference in the anchors and the difference in the technology. So you can see on this boat, we've got a great big anchor. This is a pool style anchor, it's all stainless steel. So a pool style anchor like this is a high holding power anchor versus a super high holding power anchor. The ultra anchors we fit on a lot of the other boats are a super high holding power anchor which means it holds a lot more weight of boat per the anchor size. But when we go to an anchor pocket, we can put a way bigger anchor in that anchor pocket. So we can actually get away with a, with a much larger anchor. The other thing the anchor pocket lets us do is it lets us shorten the boat. So we don't need to have the bowsprit in front of the boat, which is gonna be four or five feet. So we can have a shorter boat. So we should go walk on some of the other boats. So we're gonna show you some of the other anchors we have and describe if they're a high holding power or a super high holding power anchor. So we're on the bow of Grey Wolf, which is a 47. And this has more of our traditional anchor setup on the smaller boats with two anchors and a single anchor windlass. Some of the other boats, we can actually put two anchor windlasses. And if you look here, we've got two different kinds of style of anchor. We've got a Rockna on one side and a Bruce on the other. The Rockna is the primary anchor on this boat. And it's again, one of those super high holding power anchors. The Rockna uh, with this big roll bar on it won't fit on a lot of our boats that have the bow spread because the roll bar gets in the way. So then we start fitting Ultras or a Vulcan or another one of the new generations. But this is a super nice anchor setup on this boat. Really easy to use. Big Samson post behind it. Yeah, just there's very little to go wrong here. So we're here on the bow of Melissa Lynn, which is a Celine 53 that's just come back from a paint job. So everything is sparkling and beautiful. And this boat has an Ultra anchor. And we, this is the anchor we typically fit on our boats. And this is a, a pretty typical anchor arrangement, except this boat has chain stoppers that the owners put on. So that's an aftermarket addition. Um, but the Ultra Anchor, as you can see there, it's stainless steel anchor. It's a hollow casting inside. And no matter what way you drop an Ultra Anchor, it will always land on the seabed in the deployed uh, fashion. So it's always ready to go. And they set in about two lengths of the anchor. Well, we actually believe these are the best anchor on the market. And again, it's a, uh, so the Ultra Anchor is a super high holding power anchor. So the Bruce's and the uh, CQR's and the Delta's are high holding power. So the anchor has to be much bigger to get the same effect as the Ultra. And if you look at this Ultra, it's a 60 kilogram, so 132 pound anchor. So it's huge. To get the same effect as this in a Bruce, we would have to almost be at double the anchor size. The other thing is because they're stainless steel, when you bring them up, they're really easy to clean. So a lot of the other anchors are galvanized and the galvanizing that when you bring the anchor up, it's got mud and clams on it. It's really hard to blow all that off. Whereas the Ultra is a quick rinse with the hose and everything just slides off because it's polished stainless steel. So this is by far our favorite anchor.